Deploying vSphere Software Defined Data Centers, or SDDCs, globally is easy and fast with VMware Cloud on AWS. The Cloud Console shows all the subscribed services, including vSphere Plus and VMware Cloud on AWS. To start deploying an SDDC, we simply click Create SDDC. Customers can select in what global region they want this SDDC to be deployed. Single host SDDCs are perfect for proof of concepts. For a production SDDC, we need multi-host deployments. Customers can deploy stretch clusters across multiple availability zones to easily increase workload availability. The i4i node is recently released with more compute power and storage capacity compared to i3. Now that the SDDC is configured, let's deploy this SDDC. The deployment process has started, vSet the server, NSX and the vSphere hosts are deployed and configured. Within a short time frame, the SDDC is ready to host workloads. We can log in into the vSphere client and see the SDDC is ready to go. Hybrid link mode or HLM provides the ability to extend an administrator's management view from on-premises to VMware Cloud on AWS. To connect the management view for both on-premises vSphere and VMware Cloud on AWS, we need to deploy the Cloud Gateway. Once deployed, we need to configure single sign-on to access both environments. Selecting the on-premises identity source of choice and select the security group for hybrid management access. Customers can now view and manage the inventories of both VMware on-premises and VMware Cloud on AWS from a single vSphere client interface accessed using your on-premises credentials. We are now ready to live migrate our workloads from our on-premises data center to VMware Cloud on AWS. Let's use the hybrid cloud extension or HEX solution to migrate our workloads. HEX is designed for simplifying application migrations and workload rebalancing across data centers and VMware clouds. HEX provides options for network extensions. Here we configured a layer two extension network that allows us to do live migrations without losing connectivity. Perfect for live migrations into VMware Cloud on AWS. Let's select the workloads we want to move to VMware Cloud on AWS. We can easily migrate multiple virtual machines in one go. Now we define the transfer and placement options, including the migration profile. Because we like to live migrate, keeping the workloads accessible throughout the migration, we select vMotion. The switchover schedule comes in handy if your business requires a specific migration window. For now, it's okay to start migrating as soon as possible. After validations, the workload live migration start. The tracking overview provides insights into the current migration status. Let's keep track of a virtual machine during migration to verify its uninterrupted connectivity. We'll ping the IP address of virtual machine web03 during its migration. Keeping track of the VM migration, we see it switching over from the on-premises data center into VMware Cloud on AWS without any connectivity loss. The rest of the workloads are migrated the same way, and once done, we are now successfully running in VMware Cloud on AWS. One of the many benefits of running VMware Cloud on AWS is the ability to easily scale out or scale in your SDDCs. Elastic DRS or EDRS allows you to scale your cluster in response to demand or lack of demand by adding or removing hosts automatically based on specific policies that are configured. In this example, the vSAN cluster has less than 20% free capacity, meaning EDRS automatically adds and provisions hosts to the stretch cluster for immediate consumption. This demo showed we can deploy SDDCs globally really fast, have consistent operations between on-prem and VMware Cloud on AWS, easily migrate workloads into VMware Cloud on AWS, and have a policy approach to automatically scale SDDCs.